Hi everyone, this is Lana with Lana Velana Design and welcome to my channel. I recently created a reel on Instagram featuring this particular card and a lot of you love this card. Today I am going to show you how I made this. Stay tuned for some cool tips and tricks and I will also have a bonus card just for you. So what are you going to need for this card? Let's start off with the materials. You're going to need a uh, square die. This is from um, Waffle Flowers. I have that square dice. I'm not sure the dimensions of this one. Let me see. It is about, it's about four by four. This is the, uh, the dimensions of this die. So four by four inches. Next, we are using Hero Arts Magnolia hot plate. I turned on my uh, glimmer machine. So I'm going to put this on the glimmer machine and that's going to get nice and hot. I just want that to get going. Next thing, I have a card base. It is cut to five by five, and this is a card panel. Uh, it's a slightly small, smaller, pardon. It's a slightly smaller panel than the actual card base, as you can see here. I am using Nina 110 pound cardstock. It is Classic Crest Solar White. Next thing is acetate. This acetate is by Cricut. I am using this acetate because I have it in my stock. I um, didn't actually uh, purchase anything extra. This is what I just had on hand and decided to use it. You can use Cricut or um, any other acetate. I believe that Hero Arts acetate is also heat resistant and it should definitely, it should work with this technique. So those are the supplies that I'm going to use for this card. Now, here is the thing. While my, um, while my uh, press is heating up, of course, the next thing you're going to need is, um, that I forgot to mention, is, of course, um, hot glimmer foil. Um, I use the Spellbinders foil here. I like to keep the foil that I use, and it's already open. I like to keep them in this little pouch here that way I know it's um, ready to use and I'm not gonna waste new rolls of foil. So, We're gonna move into die cutting while my machine uh, is heating up. One thing to know and this is I give you a um, I'll give you a quick quick tip make sure that your bottom plate is not all used up because that'll create wrinkles on the bottom of your paper. So the first thing you want to do is use removable adhesive here. And with the removable adhesive, I'm going to put a little bit of that adhesive on my card panel here. The first thing you want to do is get your card base and your card panel and position your card panel the way you normally would when you were to adhere it to the card base, okay? And don't worry, it's just a removable adhesive, okay? So this is how I want my panel to be attached to my card base, okay? So I'm gonna put that in there. Next, so I am just positioning this and centering it just like so, okay? like this and I am going to put this through the die cutting machine. Here's my other plate here. As you can see, my both of my uh, 
panels here have die cut. Okay, oops. Okay, now you don't want to do that. <laughs> you want to be very, very careful um, when um, removing your washi tape. Just move it against it itself like this. And that's not going to create any... Um, it's not going to tear off your paper, but this is okay. I can always cover it with something. And this is what you are going to end up with, right? This is how your card base is going to look like. And this is now your card panel. Next thing, what I am going to do is I see that my plate has already warmed up is a good thing and now what I'm going to do is get some nice hot foil here since this is kind of gold-ish bronze what I'm going to do is get silver this time why not okay next I have this little little tool for cutting and I'm just going to join that and this is just so super easy now another thing to keep in mind is this acetate it has a lot of static okay so what I suggest and first and foremost, this comes with a little protective foil here, like a little film, so to speak, that you want to first take off. Take the film off. And next, I'm going to position this foil onto my acetate. Now, I know that when you're attaching the foil, the shiny side needs to go onto the plate and the not so pretty side is actually what's going to stick on the surface. So I am just going to smooth this foil a little bit and because it's acetate, there's a lot of static there so I don't have to worry about my foil coming off. I'm just going to position this on the, uh, uh, on the plate and we're gonna put it through the die cutting machine and I'll be right back. Okay, and here I am back with our foil and look at this. Oh my goodness, I just, oopsie, <laughs> cannot get enough of this. I am just so crazy about this. I can do this all day long, honestly. Um, another thing here, if you remember me taking the film off of one side, you want to take that film off of another side as well. And that's how you get that beautiful, clear look. Next thing, what you want to do is uh, attach the foil. Of course, the pretty side goes on the um, inside here. I have um, art glitter glue. Okay, I am just going to... Put some of that art glitter glue on the inside of my little panel here. Next, I'm going to position my acetate right there. Next thing, I am going to put more glue on that acetate there just like so and i'm going to take this panel here that i have and attach it 
to my card base. Now, as you can see, this little acetate piece of acetate is sandwiched between the, the panel and the actual card or card base. You are done. You are absolutely done with creating this beautiful card. Look at that. Look at that shine. Isn't that awesome? Super quick and easy, really, honestly. Now, as I promised, I want to make another card with you real quick. Since this is super fast and fun to do, uh, this card, um, for this card, I'm going to use um, Hero Arts Hot Foil Plate again. We're using plates, and this is their uh, little fun. Uh, it is called uh, Circle Confetti. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do, as I did previously, I am going to put this plate on my Glimmer Hot Foil to get nice and warm. Next thing, what I wanted to do is, I already pre-cut my card base for a slimline card, and this is again a... Uh, little panel here that I created it is a uh, it's just a uh, slightly smaller than four by nine but anyhow this is going to be my base and this is my panel I'm just attaching that to the base first okay because this is where I want my card and how I want my card to look. Next thing, I grabbed this um, die. This dies again from Waffle Flowers. With this, what I am going to do is, so, I'm going to put it right there. Now, don't be afraid. We're gonna do some partial die cutting. I hope you have done that before. If you have not, then this is a great little tip that I have for you. Okay, so I'm just going to use a little bit of my washi tape here. Remove that tack a little. I am going to position two opposite corners of the die so the corners go from edge to edge of the card. And this time I will put the tape on the inside of the die. So this might be a little bit tricky for all of you who do not have a full size die cutting machine to make a slimline card, but you can most definitely do this with smaller cards. Now what I'm going to do, I positioned my slimline card, it can fit this way, this will actually give you the idea that it's about eight uh, eight and a half inches long I should say because that's the uh, regular plate size and when you are die partially die cutting you want to position your plate your cover plate in such manner that will cover the everything you want to cover uh, cut is going to be covered with this plate and everything that it's not covered with this uh, plate is not going to cut. So I lined this plate with the little corner here and I am just going to hold this for a little bit while I can. Let me just straighten it up a little bit like so. And I'm gonna put it the die cutting machine while I'm holding this until the machine catches that. Okay, look at this. Now I'm just going to remove this one first and I'll be back in just a second. I have my little paper trimmer 
that I am going to use now. I am first going to fold the top and the bottom flaps inwards and just trim off the this middle part here. And this is what you are going to end up with. Next, I'm going to finish the foiling and I will be back for the assembly. Okay, and I am back. Look at this. Ready for this? Look at that. Oh, how fun. Now that is phenomenal. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I am so in love with this. So another thing what I'm going to do is just trim this little part here that it's uh, that it curled up a little bit. Next, take this and okay, let's use our little uh, glue here. I am just going to first apply this glue here, okay? So I am just going to position this. So all you have to do is make sure you have enough glue there. And next thing what we're going to do is grab our panels here. And our previously cut and attach it to the top and the bottom of your card. And that is it. Uh, I hope this inspires you to do something similar, something new. Inspiration never ends, right? And creativity is endless. Um, I am curious to see what you guys come up with. Um, please share your creations with me. I would love to see uh, how this video inspires you. So uh, this is what I used today to create these cool cards here, the uh, uh, Hero Arts foil plates. I just absolutely love them. I had to do something with this. I think this card is, card is one of my favorites. Look at this. I mean, hello. <laughs> I love it. I just absolutely love that little see-through part. I think that's pretty cool. And uh, here it is. These little cool square cards. And I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. I love interacting with my viewers. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for requesting these uh, cards and asking me to create something for you. And I'm always, always happy to do so. If you have any other questions and want me or wanted me to try something for you, please let me know. That way you won't have to. Thank you again so much and I will see you soon with another video.